So next I'm going to show you the plain garter stitch border but it does have a little decorative edge because on row two you're going to slip the first stitch with the yarn at the front and that's to create this nice smooth edge here and if you can see I didn't do it on the first row just to show you the difference hopefully you can see that but you get the little nubble of the garter stitch sticking out but you don't get that if you follow the pattern and do the slipping the first stitch on row two so I'll just quickly show you that first before we start knitting the corner stitch so the first row is just uh, knit all of those seven stitches so you cast on your seven stitches you knit one row and then you are going to turn and it says with yarn at front so you're going to slip as if you're purling because you need to keep the yarn at the front so purl that first stitch with the yarn on the front and then take the yarn between the needles to the back and then you're going to knit to the end and that's it this one's just a two row pattern repeat so you knit the first row and then slip the first stitch on the second row with the yarn at the front and that creates that nice edging there so we're going to maintain that um, edging whilst we start to work around the corner of this pattern so row one is just knit those seven stitches again and then we're going to wrap and turn in exactly the same way as we did on the corner with the eyelet edging so with yarn at the front slip one and then we are going to knit four one two three four we're going to wrap the next stitch yarn forward slip the stitch Take the yarn to the back, take the stitch back, turn your work and take the yarn between the needles ready to knit again. We're going to knit all of the stitches on the next row. Okay, then we are going to slip the first stitch with the yarn at the front. We're going to knit three. And then we're going to wrap and turn so yarn forward slip one yarn back stitch back turn your work and take the yarn to the back and then you're going to knit to the end for row five so we can already see that we're we're going around the corner now just like we did before on row six we're going to slip the first stitch take the yarn to the back and then we're just going to knit two so you're knitting one stitch less on each of these wrap and turn rows and we're going to wrap and turn the next stitch and then we are going to knit to the end of the next row which is row seven Try to keep your stitches nice and tight so you don't get any holes in your knitting as well. So row eight, we're going to slip the first stitch. We're going to knit three now. So we're going back up one, knit three stitches. And then we're going to wrap and turn. Yarn forward, slip the stitch. Yarn back, take the stitch back and turn your work pop the yarn to the back ready to knit row nine and then finally for row 10 with the yarn at the front slip the stitch and then we're going to knit four
We're going to wrap and turn. And then we are ready then to knit the next row. And you're back to then continuing in the pattern. So the next row would be slip one and then knit to the end. And then you would just continue then with the straight garter stitch edge until your edging was long enough to fit along the next side of your blanket. And then that's that corner nicely curling round 